Good morning, everybody. This is Doug Wolf with Keller Williams Town Center in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, this is our active market update as well as our pending and sold market update for Southside Hampton Roads, which consists of the four cities of Virginia Beach, Portsmouth, Norfolk, and Chesapeake. We do this report every Monday. Uh, it's to tell you what's going on as far as the marketplace from week to week as well as a monthly recap to see where we are, the trend lines, so that if you're a buyer, you can make better buying decisions, and if you're a seller, you can make better selling decisions and listing your property, pricing it properly, things like that, knowing what the inventory looks like and maybe what the trend line looks like from week to week, month to month. Um, we do this every Monday. On, Virginia, on Fridays, we do a Virginia Beach market update. Uh, specifically for the city of Virginia Beach. So let's get right to the numbers. It's been an interesting uh, month of April. Today is May 3rd. It's uh, a little bit after 9.30. I just pulled this information off of our multiple listing system, so the information is as fresh as you can get it. Um, as I said, this is for the four cities of Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, and Norfolk, so we've added them all together. Uh, active listings uh, currently right now on the market, 6,754 active listings on the market. That number is down 192 properties uh, from last week when it was 6,946. So it's really the first time that we've seen such a large drop pretty much year to date where we've seen such a, a decline of inventory. And you're going to see why that is in a minute, and mainly because of the tax credit. Um, but you're going to see what those numbers look like as far as the pending and solds go for the month of April. Uh, we'll get to those. Detached homes, the single-family homes, 4,782 of those currently on the market, 4,782. That number's down 105 units. Um, and the price range for those properties, 29000 up to $8.9 million for a single-family home in, one of the, in those four cities collectively. Um, the other category that we have is attached homes, which are condos and townhomes. Uh, currently, 1,972 of those on the market. That number is down 88 units. So uh, we're seeing a decrease in both categories. The price ranging for the condos and the townhomes, 50000 up to $2 million for a home in those four cities. Um, one of the separate categories from the active listings is our REO short sales and foreclosures. That number is also down. Uh, it's at 1,265. That's down 40 units from last week. So uh, we've seen a decrease in inventory across the market. Uh, not that we don't think it's people not putting their property on the market. It's just properties are selling. Uh, interest rates still historically low. Uh, buyers, it's a competitive time. You need to get out there. You need to move on a property if you like it. Uh, you're not going to have that luxury of sitting around right now because inventory is lower, supply and demand. Um, let's take a look at the pennings and solds for the month of April. Uh, 1,305 properties. Uh, are either pending and sold during the month of April. Um, that number up from last week, 395 units. So 395 properties came off of the market just in the last seven days. Um, that's a big, big number uh, as far as a buyer or a seller goes. Pendings, 1,155 pendings uh, currently for the month of April. Um, that's up 319. So 319 properties went under contract last week. And uh, uh, solds 150 solds closed property for the month of April that number up 93 in the last seven days 93 properties um, actually closed so uh, that's those are big big numbers we gotta probably give a lot of credit to the ta uh, credit to the uh, tax credit as well as to as I said uh, the interest rates are historically low the dollar average for the month of April two hundred forty seven thousand nine hundred and forty six dollars that's the dollar average for a house that's sold in the month of April and average days on market for the month of April ninety two days so right in line year to date sold so now looking at currently at May 3rd from January 1 to today 2,318 properties have closed so far this year to date 2,318 remember we're looking at those four cities collectively and the dollar average for those for the ones that have sold $243,467 days on market 86 days on market so if you've got your house on the market 
and you're way above the 243, you're above the average dollar range in those four cities. If you're below it, you're below the, the range. The main thing that you should be looking at as a seller is pricing the house properly if you're motivated to sell it. That is what is selling houses right now. It's a commodity market. If you're a buyer, making a good offer on a, on a house that you've done a market analysis on is very, very important. Know what the house is worth. Um, and days on market, 86 days. That's the average days on market for those four cities for houses to sell. So lots of information. If you'd like more information, if you'd like to discuss it, give me a phone call, 757-515-4728. Or you can shoot me an email, Doug Wolf at bettercalldoug.com. Go to the website, bettercalldoug.com. Um, I've got the graphs. I can show you more data if you'd like a little more history on it. We do this report every Monday for Southside Hampton Roads and every Friday for Virginia Beach. Make it a great day.